I've stolen the street sign from every street that I've lived on. <laughs> that story is going to be less interesting if we discover you've only ever lived on one street. <laughs> but we're going to assume it's more... How many street signs have you stolen? Um, I think that I've got, like, seven or eight. Next question. Name of those streets, quick. Yeah. OK. You want me to name them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> The uh, street that I grew up on, um, the um, council estates all named after um, composers, famous composers. So uh, that's um, Elgar Avenue. Then I went to university. First year of university, I lived um, in uh, halls of residence, uh, so on campus. Hang on, just, if I can just stop you. I don't want you to... T don't tell me the whole... <laughs> don't tell me the whole backstory and give you time to think of the street name. I want all the seven or eight street names. One of the after now. OK, so that was Cryfield, the Halls of Reds. I Next. stole the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Without any other information, just the names of the streets, I want them... Just the names of the streets in order quickly now. Elgar Avenue, Cryfield, Brunswick Road, Llewellyn Road, Little Ealing Lane, <laughs> Cumberland Road, <laughs> Passfield Street. OK. Yeah, that's yeah. very good. Oh. Well very nice. have, you, uh, have you found that different tools are needed to take a sign off in Australia compared to the UK? I mean, I love this country, but um, the street signs are um, far in inferior. Gee. <laughs> 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 Uh, you can actually um, get like a can opener and just cut the metal and just and, and just take it off. A can opener like like the, that sort of thing, or just one that just goes like you seem to go like that. Then. <laughs> you... <laughs> what you do is you get you get a file and you make a little notch near the end of the sign, and then you can put the can opener in and just. The turning one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you've shimmied up the pole. <laughs> You're able to hold on just with your, the power. He has got magnificent thighs. He does, yes. Um, I, I mean, if, if I'm completely honest with you, I'm, I'm hold on to the pole just with my bum cheeks. <laughs> so you and don't... then I'm over my shoulder. Splinters? <laughs> yeah, you can't. Right. No, now no, I no, believe it. You, I mean, until then, uh, sold. Yeah. You, 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 can't, you can't really shimmy up the pole. You, you need something, a ladder or something to stand on to get to the requisite height. Is it a lot of planning that goes into this? I mean, it's a crime, I think we all <laughs> understand. It's, it's not. It's, not... A, it's, a, it's a hobby. <laughs> That's a good defence. I'll remember that one. I think it might be vandalism. People, people, people collect and stamps. Theft. Do you stand on your back veranda and you go, tonight's the night? I get urges. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, what do you think, yeah. guys? Truth or a lie? What do you think, Dan? I've stolen a lot of street signs in my life, actually. You so, have? Does yeah. it check out? The can opener checks out? The London ones are bolted hard into the, into the black poles. On the, on the road, you know, They're, that's yeah. hard to get off. Yes. Quite an undertaking. You were very vague about the instruments. Name one instrument to get off a London sign. To get off a London sign? You need, um, well, you need a chisel. You need a set of different um, screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers, usually. No, no. Lie. Spanner, right? Spanner. It's obviously Thanks. spanner. Yeah, OK, based on that, it's a lie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think it's a lie. We tools. felt it, didn't we? We all felt you it. You got the wrong tools. Yeah, I wanted it to be true. You just had to say spatter. Yeah. <laughs> Lloyd Langford, was that a truth or a lie? It was obviously a lie. <laughs>